let's talk about what's happening in this administration. Um, is it very hard for, <laughs> in a nice way, let's try to be nice. Um, is it is it hard to sit uh, and watch from the sidelines and see what's going on? Have you reached out to President Trump to try to talk to him? I have reached out to the vice president, uh, and uh, I try to keep in contact. Uh, I uh, I did this cancer moonshot for the president, and uh, so I've continued to uh, have contact with uh, the elements of the administration that are following through on the recommendations we made. But um, I don't think you sh anyone should, at least the former vice president, shouldn't be criticizing a president of the United States when you're abroad. I don't think we should ever do that. And I don't think uh, um, we should be in the position of essentially um, talking about a different foreign policy. So it's been, but that, that's the extent to which there's been any interaction. Right, until you run for president uh, in 2020. Well, Look, um, I. <laughs> but thank you. Look, it, it's it, it's very flat. But I've the one thing I think you know about me is uh, I say what I mean, and I never mince words about it. And I and I mean what I say. Sometimes I say all that I mean. It gets me in trouble. But. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I really have not I made up my mind. I've decided I'm going to devote my the next uh, couple months to uh, um, this book tour. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to conflate anything having to do with politics with my boy. I don't want to conflate anything to do with politics with, with the message I hope will be helpful to people who are going through what I've been through. I mean, it's a... It's, uh, um, uh, and so I, uh, I, I'm just not, and I, honest to God, uh, I haven't made up my mind. I have, I've done not a single thing that would, to, would, to promote that or to organizationally do anything. And uh, I'm very flattered people say th nice things, but, uh, you know, my dad had another expression. He'd say, Joey, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. I think the reason I'm looking good now is the alternative. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I really, honest to God, have not made up my mind. I just want to focus on my boy for the next uh, the next. All right. Months. Just remember that that's what I would like to see. And uh, and I don't know if it's going to be myself or Oprah as your running mate, but I think that. <laughs> But anyway, yes, I understand. It is. It is not the, your focus right now. Your focus is the book, and it should be. It's a. It's a fantastic book, and, and as you said, it is what we need right now in the world is hope. And uh, man, you have been through a lot, and you are a, a, a wonderful. There's I'd say. overwhelming reason for hope. We are so better positioned than any country in the world to own the 21st century. I mean, we really are. We are so incredible. This country. We really are. I love you so much.